Once again, I'm Andrea Zopp, the president and CEO of the Chicago Urban League, and you are with me on A to Z with Andy Zopp. I'm talking to you today about something that's really important uh, to me and should be to you, and that is the right to vote. Uh, we are coming into an election year now, and uh, it's unfortunate that in, in our modern politics, uh, people sort of get tired. You get tired of the ads, you get tired of the calls, you get tired of paying attention to it. And most importantly, sometimes you think, yeah, my vote doesn't count, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm here to tell you uh, that's just wrong thinking, uh, and particularly uh, for people of color uh, and for African Americans. And, and let me tell you why. Um, Monday, January 23rd, marked the 48th anniversary of the Constitutional Amendment, the 24th Amendment to the Constitution, that abolished the poll tax. Now, some of you might not know what a poll tax is uh, or was. A poll tax was a poll where you had to pay to vote in national elections, and they were imposed in the South to prevent uh, poor people and people of color um, from voting. Um, and they had all kinds of actually other ways to restrict voting rights uh, for people, uh, particularly in the South, and for black people. Uh, my own grandfather, for example, who lived in Mississippi, uh, wanted to vote. It was something he really wanted to do, but he couldn't vote because he was a black man living in Mississippi. Uh, and at the time, in order to vote, he was told he would have to recite the Bill of Rights to the United States Constitution from memory. Now, I'm a lawyer. I went to law school. I can't recite it from memory. Um, and certainly someone uh, at that time couldn't, and so he could never vote. Um, and so there were all kinds of restrictions on uh, the right to vote, and those have been abolished by the 24th Amendment, by the Voting Rights Act. And so now everybody has the right to vote. But there are things going on today where uh, we're coming, we're seeing new restrictions being placed on the right to vote. Uh, people that are putting on bills to require IDs and require changing the times of voting and starting to restrict this fundamental right. And you have to ask yourself, why? Why is that happening again? Well, one thing that you could say is that when President Obama was elected um, in that historic election in 2008, all kinds of people who had never voted before came out, young people, old people, and many of the restrictions that you're seeing today are aimed to target at those groups, college students, older people who don't necessarily have IDs handy. Uh, and so, but the real point to you is, is that it's happening. And so wherever you are, you need to be paying attention and you need to ask yourself, why are people, if it doesn't matter, if voting doesn't matter, why are we imposing, why are laws being imposing to restrict the right to vote? And if voting is a constitutional right that we ought to care about, why are we not doing more to encourage people to vote, to ensure that everybody is registered to vote, to ensure that everybody has the opportunity to exercise this critical constitutional right that in places across the world people are choosing to die for so that they can vote. Where our own, gener our own ancestors, my grandfather, many of your grandparents, fought to have the right to vote. So we have to treat it importantly, and we have to ask ourselves when it's being restricted, we have to question it. And so what I'm encouraging you to do is, one, if there's laws in your state being imposed to restrict the right, oppose them or question them and ask, why do we have to do this? How is this going to make our exercise of constitutional rights better? Two, if you are not registered to vote, get registered to vote. In Illinois, our primary is March 20th and you can register to vote until February 20th. And if you are in Chicago, you can come to the Chicago Urban League and get registered to vote any day during the week. We will have somebody here to register you. If we're having an event, we'll have somebody here get, register you. You have no excuse. There's no reason for you not to be exercising that right to vote and every reason for you to do it. It's so important. It really does matter and it counts and you have the right to do it. Do not let that hard fought right go by the wayside. There's nothing should stand in your way from getting out and voting because it does matter. So that's A to Z with Andy Zopp. But let me tell you about Get Zopped. If you recall, uh, we have uh, some questions for you that you, maybe you can answer. And if you answer it, you might be able to win a prize. And so I encourage you to visit our uh, the Chicago Urban League's Facebook page or our Twitter page uh, under Chicago Urban League and see how you can get zapped. Thank you. For, this is Andy Zab from the Chicago Urban.